What's going on guys? Um, we just have the block the other day we picked it up from the machine shop. Um, so what what I had them do to the block is we bore out the cylinders to 86.5 and we line hone uh, line hone the crank so we can have a good ceiling and everything. Let me run you guys on with everything that we have over here on the table. First, actually, let's just start right here. We need a piece of paper and a pen for the measurements. We got assembly loop. We got a lot of brake clean, shop towels, a torque wrench, um, ARP fastening loop. And now we got the digital caliper for the measurements on a telescopic gauge and we got thread locker blue and red we got all the measuring uh, all the torque specs for the main studs we got um, the piston ring compressor razor blade with uh, plastic edges so you don't scratch anything we got main bearings rod bearings, thrust washer. This is a used crank, but it was been, it has been polished and fluxed. We got mainly rods, um, H top, and then we got mainly pistons, 86.5, and we got a plastic gauge. I like to do two measurements, plastic gauge and with the digital, digital caliper. That's just to be on the safe side. We're gonna start cleaning these two and we're gonna torque all of these to spec and then we're gonna start taking all the measurements. So I went ahead and sprayed brake cleaner everywhere in every single hole and blew it with compressed air. And on this side, I went ahead and cleaned all the coolant passages um, with this brush. I just went with brake clean and just went down like like that. <laughs> I look way nicer than before, so that's good. So I did went ahead and torqued all the main caps and then loosened them. And this is my first measurement. Um, so we're looking between 15,000 and 20,000. And here's the, here's what I got. Hopefully I can focus. It's right on 15,000. Um, they're all good. It's on the tighter side, which is good. And uh, now I'm gonna take out the crank, clean the main caps, and then we're gonna do one more measurement using the digital caliper and the telescopic gauge just to be 100% sure that is we're solid on the crank. So I'm gonna put a little bit more assembly loop. I just don't wanna have a dry start on these bearings. I know I should wear gloves, I have them right there, but I don't know, I just, I just wanna put the crank in with my bare hands. Here we go. Perfect. So 
So the M10 bolts are getting torqued, a final torque of 70, 70 foot pounds. All right. And I did let them sit for a while, for like 30 minutes. After I torqued them, just to make sure that the torque is good. And these go to final torque of 32 foot pounds. And I am torquing them in sequence. And there we go. Crank is all torqued down are ready to go when i when i dropped off the block to the machine shop so they can bore out the cylinder walls to fit this size pistons i told them just go ahead and gap the rings for me and they gapped them to 30 plus psi because that's what i told them we will be running more than that i was running 28 pounds of boost at 500 horsepower I'm gonna walk you guys on how I measured um, the main bearings and how am I doing the rod bearings right now. So you put the rod bearings in there and then you're gonna torque the bolts down to the specification. This is um, mainly calls for 90 foot pounds on these ARP 2000 bolts. So I do them in three steps, 30, 60, and then 90. This is 90. okay that's 90 foot pound so we're gonna grab our tools the telescopic gauges grab one that fit <clears throat> so what we're gonna do so this one you see like it barely fits in there so compress it and then you just have to make sure that it's centered in there when you put it in there, you just have to make sure it's centered and it's straight and then just lock it by turning the dial. And then just make sure that when you bring it in and out that it barely touches. You're going to set it over here. You're going to turn on your caliper. And then you're going to go to the journal that you want to measure. And just make sure that it like it barely fit in it like just like that. And then what you wanna do is just hold the reset. Okay, now it's zeroed out. Now take the measurement that you you took from the bearing and then just place it in there. Just place it in there and then open the dial however much you need it. And we're right there. This is like perfect. Right on spec, 20 thou. And this is perfect. Do not forget to rotate the springs. Rotate um, the rings on the piston. And uh, there's a diagram over here on where's each um, ring should face and there you go guys um, a fully built bottom end for B11 it's very simple to be honest um, so the mainly rod bolts these are ARP 2000. They get torqued down to final torque of 90 foot pounds, and mainly does say in the instructions that these have to be submerged in a SA 
E30 oil before you torque them. So that's what I did. And I let them over like a couple days and I checked them again and they're all at 90 foot pounds. These, the M10 I believe, these are final torque of 70 foot pounds. And of course follow the torque sequence. And these small ones, the M8, they all go to final torque of 32 foot pounds. And there you go. It spins really smooth. No grinding, no sticking, no nothing.